uh, actor Ty Sheridan, who plays uh, Cyclops, explains what what makes X Men Dark Phoenix special comparative to other comic book movies out there. You know, there's a helmet when it's walking around. Um, no. He says, "Quote: uh, Everyone was on the same page with the idea that we were approaching it as." M- um, approaching it as much more of a grounded drama versus a superhero movie, which is always a good thing to say when you're making a superhero movie. Um, something's getting something that's getting old with other, with those universes and all the Marvel movies is they all look the same and they all do the same thing. Uh, we really wanted to shake it up in this sense and take a different approach to this. Simon Kinberg, who wrote the past three X-Men movies that all look the same and all do the same thing. Um, Directed Dark Phoenix, and I'm super, super excited about it. I think it will turn out well, and that it'll be different. Uh, it'll be a different X Men uh, than we've seen before. So that's exciting. Um, just a word on this. You know, I was thinking about this idea because I, I see this argument online a lot about all the Marvel movies look or feel the same, like as far as an aesthetic perspective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're supposed to because they happen in the same world. I don't understand the argument of they all look the same. Are they supposed to look wildly different? Like I was thinking about it in an architectural like frame of mind. Like if I go to if I go to a United States city, a major city in the US, New York for instance, it doesn't look wildly different architecture wise than LA, but it does look wildly different than Japan. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're supposed to look different. It's completely different societies. When I when I I think um, Ty is it? Yes, he is uh, doing what most people do, and he is mistaking they look the same for they have the same beats. Right. Um. Yeah, they do have the same beats. They don't. I don't think they all look the same. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Thor looks like Black Panther. Looks like. The no. Winter Soldier. No, no, they don't. I don't think they look different. Now you could say, the, or they don't look the same. You could say the Russo directed movies look the same. You could say, sure, the Favreau directed movies look the same, but they do all have a similar plot structure, beat, you know, pacing, because it works. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, so do romantic comedies. Right, exactly. Like, what like, the fuck kind of argument like, is that? Like, it is a genre, and that's what happens in a genre of film. And the interesting thing is, like, their beats aren't any different than just an action movie. Right, like than just, every other action right, movie. that has like, been out ever. Right. Right. Like, so, I, like, dick flicks of the 1980s all had the same beats. Guess what? They were really successful. Like, to a certain extent... The X Men movies have the exact same beats as the fucking. They do they're action right. movies. Yeah, right. they're they just do. terrible. This execution is different. <laughs> yeah. The execution is different. Ty and yeah. and also from an aesthetic standpoint, your movies look really bland. Like they just do, and that's not me just shitting on him. No, they do. Look they bland. just look bland. Like the, Brian Singer is a mediocre television director at best. He is. God damn. I mean, what where's about, the uh, where's the fucking lie? What about that last uh, X Men movie that I refused? I was to like, see? did you like, even it see was, it? It was based in the nineties, right? Now, if I remember the nineties correctly, the no, it was based in the eighties. The new one, even is- even more so, mm-hmm. like the eighties. Go, go ahead, the, tell me about this movie you haven't seen. Go ahead. The eighty, I'm I'm asking, right? The eighties were all about like day glow and big hair and just androgyny, right? They didn't take any of that since they made a big deal about it being in the eighties. No, huh? Yo, you they, watched the last thirty minutes of that movie. It was brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. Man, I'm not fucking joking. Yeah, he's not wrong, dude. <laughs> like, dead ass serious. <laughs> yeah, it was just brown. It was almost like the ending of uh, Injustice. Oh, I mean, Justice shit. League. Sorry. Oh shit! Like, that was red. Man, brown. in the 1980s, they were really going out. They were like, wow. Yo, they, these... weren't, they weren't black outfits like they did in the 2000s. Yo. <laughs> they weren't the same black outfits that they wore in the 2000s. No, these are different. These are flight suits <laughs> that they found. They conveniently found they were all the same. Oh, um, but then, you know, they, they, they got these sweet X-Men outfits, and they were like, this is what we're going to do in the next movie. And then footage came out. They didn't even do these in the next movie. So... <laughs> All right, yo. 
Um, <laughs> but like, I have a real problem with like that that idea that they all look or they sound the same because, like you said. Even if you take away the aesthetics aspect, if you're talking about the filmmaking aspect, Ryan Coogler's film filming style and the way that he pulled that movie off and what it looked like and how it functioned and everything else outside of the basic premise of a three act structure is very different than Guardians of the Galaxy. It's wait, wait, very wait. different. You trying to tell me that you don't remember that upside down twisting shot being in Iron Man? Right. Like because it, it was different. Now they've done it three times once Infinity War comes out. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> so I mean, like I get it. You got to you yeah. got to cut that out. Yeah, yeah. But like I mean, but at the same time, I don't know how you build a universe that makes sense when everything looks different and plays completely different. Like, like that's DC's that's biggest DC, problem. You know, yeah, I was about to say yeah. that's what that's what you do when you get, you get a DC movie. Yeah, they're Everything like, look, different. look how Wonder Woman looks. Like, wow, this looks really like very different. And then you put her in Justice League, and you're like, what are you doing here? Well, I mean, they kind of did have that with Man of Steel and Batman v Superman, right? Yeah, there were a was... bunch of muted colors in yeah. Man of Steel, and everything was dark in yeah. BVS, right? And then here's yeah. this here's Wonder Woman, this fucking uh, bright light. This this what, what was the name of the woman in uh, Harlem Nights? Sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, put your mother on the phone. Hey, I ain't never coming. I ain't home. never coming back. Uh, and, and then Justice League was just like a Frankenstein of both. Right. So I mean, but even Justice League, or excuse me, even Wonder Woman had that same aesthetic in the last. The last yep. act. It went dark. Right, right. Like, there needs to be some sort of... There's nothing wrong with cohesion, but... Yeah, cohesion is good, but... I, I don't... Yeah, I, cohesion I don't, I don't is know. good when you're trying to create a universe. Right. Like, I don't know... That's my thing is, I don't know what you think those movies should be. Should they all be like Ready Player One, and then The Dark Knight, and then <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy? Like... But then when they come together, you'd be like, none of this looks yeah, normal. It looks weird. weird. Like, I need people to stop thinking about just because they're connected universes to, like, turn their brain off. Think about movies that you've seen before. You ever watch a trilogy of movies? They look the same. You idiot. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> they function the same way so that people can go, oh, yeah, this is Batman 1, 2, and 3. Man, I like those Star Wars movies, but they all look the same. Right. No one would say that. <laughs> They'd be like... Well, yeah, nigga, Star Wars. Like, what the fuck you want? And they're all directed by different people. <laughs> but somehow that is an acceptable thing. Those movies, you want to talk about an aesthetic that is exactly the same. The scrolling letters in the beginning are the same. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, but they're building a universe. Like, come on. That doesn't make any sense. But then people got mad that Rogue One looks slightly different. And I don't even think it looked that different. I don't. It was, it was based in... Same world. Right. I thought it had a more cinematic feel to it, but it looked like a, it was shot like a war movie. Yeah, and but that, that uh, and again, like that to your point, like the director, like it didn't look the same, right, because of the director. Right. So I don't, I don't know, man. I don't Ty Sheridan, uh, stick to remembering lines and not talking about movies. You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.